Well, we're back and we have Dr. Keenan Bridges with us and he's really going to help us today. I know I have questions, you have questions, and so I'm praying that they will be answered today. Now, in the event that they're not, then you can go to KeenanBridges.com. All of his materials are there, resources, powerful end time prophetic tools to help you and your family and those you love. Perfect for gifts, perfect for you. And, and so go visit him there. You can also find out how to find him if you wanna come and experience an in-person service with he and his amazing wife and family and staff. I've been spirit of excellence, incredible worship, warm, welcoming, and you won't be disappointed. So Dr. Keenan, thank, thank you. you for thank being you. here. You're thank a blessing. You. Thank you so much. And also. I'm honored. I'm honored as well, thank you. First, I wanna start by saying thank you for your labors of love in bringing this out, especially now in this hour. Mm. And you know, the first program, I just said the name of the book, but I wanna say it's called Overcoming Familiar Spirits, Deliverance from Unseen Demonic Enemies and Spiritual Debt. This is definitely something that you need for your library and your arsenal. I haven't been able to put it down, and so go grab one. Okay, let's start. Yeah. What do you want people to take away from this? So when you, I know God told you how to write it, he gave you the analogy, but I'm sure when you start a project, you're thinking, what do I want the end result to right. be? Mm -hmm. So what, what's your vision for this? Yeah, so my whole purpose in writing this book and what I want people to receive from it is, first of all, to understand that just because you have an inheritance doesn't mean it's automatic. Good. You have to contend for your inheritance. Yes. Just like in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. Um, and I want people to, to, to experience the freedom, the real freedom that Jesus paid for with his own blood and that their destinies will be accelerated. Maybe there's someone that's just saying, why am I stuck? Yeah. Nothing's moving forward. Why am I struggling in my finances year after year after year? Nothing's breaking. I believe that as they read and as they apply it, they'll receive lasting breakthrough. Yes. Yeah. So many believers are living beneath their privilege yes. and their birthright That's correct. and their spiritual inheritance. Absolutely. What is one of the most profound uh, truths that God showed you while writing this? Like what's one of your favorite chapters? Um, I would say uh, one of my favorite chapters is where I talk about identifying open doors. Right? You know, and I give an analogy in the book about how when we were coming up in Georgia, you'd be sitting on the porch <laughs> summer night and mosquitoes yes. would just eat you alive. I'm talking about they would feast on you and uh, you get bitten by mosquitoes and all this kind of stuff. And, and uh, you know, your grandmother would shout out, close the door. You know, you're letting the mosquitoes yeah. in. Yeah. Right, you're letting the mosquitoes in. And I feel that that's what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church today. Ooh, that's good. Close the door. Yeah, that's good. Close the door. There's, so, there's, there's too many people that are uh, operating with open doors in their lives. Um, and I, I just, you know, Pastor, I feel that so many churches don't talk about this. You know, it's like we're... I know we shouldn't obsess over the devil, but right. but they don't mention him at all. They're doing their people an injustice. It's you know, and, and some of them are well intended. You know, they don't want to be controversial, but I'm telling you, I've been all over the world, as yeah. you have as yeah. well, and people are suffering. Yes, and, I mean, and need not be needlessly suffering. Yeah, I mean, you you have medicine cabinets filled right. to capacity. You have. Man, you, you have a families being ripped apart by the devil. Yeah. And, and these people love God as we all do, but sometimes 
you have to confront the enemy. Yes. You know, I, one of the young ladies in our church, her father died. And uh, when her father died, she found out that there were so many things going on with his accounts. And so we helped her get with a lawyer and uh, a realtor to help settle the, you know, the stuff in the estate. But she had to go to probate court. And uh, there had to be an intentional stance for, no, no, I'm going to fight for what's mine. Yeah. If you don't do that, you'll never receive it. Right. And so I believe that when people get this, and I want to say this because this book is not designed to scare anybody or make you feel like, you know, Jesus hasn't paid it all and we have to fall into works. It's not about that. It's not really the spirit of this book. But it's really about giving people the tools that they need to be able to identify, you know what, that's not God. It's not God. That's not the Holy Spirit. This is not what God has for me. Yeah. I'm not supposed to live this way. You know, this is not, and I had to do that in my own life. This is my own story. Yeah. Because at some point I had to say, you know what, God, this is not what you have for me. You know, I remember one time we were struggling financially, and I just said, what is going on? We prayed, we prayed, we prayed. And I got tired of praying. <laughs> so, you know, my wife's like, you want to pray? <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't want to pray. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm manifesting grumpy. right yeah, now. Being a grumpy, <laughs> yes. So, uh, <laughs> so we prayed, and when we prayed, I saw something. My wife actually saw it, and then I saw it. She saw a spider web above our house, and all the things that we had been believing God for were caught in that web. Mm. And I began to take authority. I said, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every hindering spirit, mm. every spirit of delay, every spirit of yeah. prevention. And 30 minutes later, our finances were released. Wow. <laughs> so this is real. It is. This is not a game. There's, there's a pastor. I don't know if you mind me doing go, this. I just go, got go. A, There's a pastor right now. And you've been fighting, you've been struggling, you've been saying, I know I'm called. I know I'm called. Why am I not seeing progress? Why am I not seeing things move forward? You know, you may be dealing with a familiar spirit. You may be dealing with a familiar spirit of delay. And it wasn't just you, it was your father, it was your grandfather. They all dealt with it. But I believe the buck stops with you. Amen. I believe God wants you to be the terminator of that mm. demonic assignment. The term, I'm, I'm deeming you the terminator. You're the one who will terminate that demonic assignment so it won't pass on to your children. 